Uh, All right, so let's just editing. dive right. No! <laughs> this episode sucks. This episode is brought to you by vacuums. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Talk About Scary, the show where we do just that. Talk about scary places. Hey guys, hey Clay, what's up? This is Clay, I'm Adam, and we have hey. a guest with us today. Hi guys. It's Ashley. Hey. There we go. She's, she's just over the phone though, and if you're like looking for her on screen, it's just on the phone. Which Sorry guys. probably better. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Sorry. Yeah, she couldn't be with us. She's been jet setting, so she's in a Ibiza right now. So she's uh. Yep. Yep. So she's on the phone. Everyone's just snuggling their animals, having a grand old time, and I'm existing. <laughs> I exist. Yeah, it's pretty great. He wanted to sit on. One might lap, say I, I have a lot going for me. There you go. Yeah, yeah, Captain That's America. That's not true. That's true. So, uh, Clay... They don't know that. I'm not, I'm not about to go get up and go get that and show them. Now I feel like I have to. Way to go. Thanks. Yeah, get it. Get it for him. Real quick. He's going to get it. He's, he wants to be included. I mean, it's like right there. You guys just saw it. Like, I didn't have to go that far. It's just... Uh, Captain America. My kids got it for me. Holds my Xbox controller. You have what? a dog, though. Yeah, but... Okay, so... I know we've That's got a lot to That's why I tried to pick up Bella. About. She bit me almost. So I had to, I'm not picking her up again. Yeah. Well, <laughs> she has like arthritis, so if you touch one, if you touch her leg wrong, she doesn't like it. But that's not the point. The point is, I I got a, a new backdrop. You might notice that it looks almost identical to two of my other backdrops, but I like to change it up. So she sits over here, just right on her bed, and I got the backdrop up, all ready to shoot today. And for whatever reason, she decided to just keep going in and out from the room and it caused the backdrop to... And I, I didn't think that looked good. I, I want the viewers to think that I'm really at this gate with scary trees and bats and floating jack-o'-lanterns. I don't, I don't know what people think. <laughs> they might think it's real. And now I just, I just shattered their reality. They're like, whoa, bro, the Matrix... Blown. It's real. <laughs> Mind blown. Now I've segued into the reality that everyone needs to take a deep breath. We're talking about something really out of the box today. Out um, of the box. Box. This isn't a box. I don't know what this is. So... <laughs> We're talking about the phantom time hypothesis. Ooh. Yeah. I know Everybody that bust none out your of flux you... capacitors. Yes. 88 miles per hour. Ashley's like, what are you guys talking about? I have no idea. <laughs> the only thing Back scary to the future. about this episode is the topic. That's... <laughs> That's the point, though. Nothing else is supposed to be scary. Set them jack-o'-lanterns. Boom. Anyway. So. Talk about scary <laughs> yeah, concepts. I, uh, talk about scary concepts. Anyway. <laughs> I, I have to tell a short story about why we're talking about this. Okay. Um, and it's weird. But the reason we're talking about it is because... I can't hear you guys anymore. You, uh, we're, we're listening to you. I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you just fine. Yeah. Hold on. Technology. Yeah. Right? Well, oh, he now. heard us. <laughs> he can hear us now. I can. Well, I can hear you on my phone, but like all of a sudden, the my AirPods were like not. Okay, I don't. I don't know what that was about. 
Shut up, Twitch. Shut up. I'm going to kick you right <laughs> in your face, I swear to God. No. No animals were harmed in the making of this. I've never heard an animal in my entire life, but I like to threaten him. <laughs> I sometimes I'm going to punch him like okay. a man. <clears throat> I'm just going to pick up where we left off from. For some reason, I can't see you guys anymore, but the audio's working, so whatever. Because you're paused, them. but yeah. It's because what? It says paused on your screen, but yeah, go for whatever. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't... I don't know. So... This is just like a regular day in my classroom. Nice. This is, yeah, th this is how things work. So I have to tell a quick story about why I picked this topic and how this ended up being our criteria for this, I'm sure to be weird episode. <laughs> I wanted to talk about time jumps or time skips where people have experienced like loss of time where they'll go somewhere or something will happen to them and all of a sudden it'll be like three hours later or the next day or in some rare cases like years later and while i definitely want to have an episode about that i came across something else by mistake can i ask you something that i real thought quick? was was I, really interesting no you cannot i forgot shut to your ask mouth. you i forgot to ask you something am i still mouth looking shut to, to the same direction that i was looking the last time we filmed <laughs> We didn't establish that. Yes. <laughs> Am I supposed to change camera <laughs> angles? Am I supposed to? You the whole episode you're looking the wrong way. Oh uh, yeah, I don't, no. want, I don't want that to happen because we can still fix it now because it's the whole episode before this was not good. So we could probably just do it over again. The whole episode <laughs> before this was great. It is good. Just I gave my best performance. <laughs> we, we, I gotta kick my cat. Let's give me, Am I facing the right direction? No. You have multiple animals? I have a cat and a dog. You know that. I have Twitch. Did, he makes did a lot you, of noise. I didn't know that they were both there, but maybe you forgot I cannot see you right now. That's true. Um, He's facing me. <laughs> I'm facing you. <laughs> so uh, the camera, that this, angle we had last time. This part of the episode will be edited for sure. All right. Here we go. We're going to keep going, and I'm going to figure out in post. Because that's what I do for a living. I figure it out in post. <laughs> um, I wanted to do an episode about time skips or time jumps. Because some people have experienced when they go to certain places or just sometimes even just out of the blue. Hold on. Every time you say skip, you like stop talking. <laughs> like in every take, you're like, it's in like Jumps. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, we can't hear you. I think he's doing it on purpose, actually. Oh, are you? He, no. He must be. <laughs> I was, liter I'm literally just talking. When you guys see my side and hear my audio, you're going to be like, wow. Well, every time you do it, like, for every take, it, it skips out when you say skips. But anyway, go ahead. Sorry, I won't interrupt. <laughs> I wanted to do an episode about time jumps or time skips. <laughs> Can't. <laughs> oh, <my goodness>. uh, <laughs> okay. <sighs> so, I wanted to do an episode about time jumps or time skips because sometimes when you go to a certain place or just out of the blue, people have experienced missing time where they'll just like, all of a sudden they'll be doing something and the next thing they know, it'll be like three hours later or the next day or in rare cases, years later. And I definitely still wanna have an episode where we talk about that. But while researching that, I actually found something really bizarre. Mm. And again, it's called the phantom time hypothesis. It's like the conspiracy theory that nobody takes seriously. That I don't know how else to put it. So I'm going to read a sentence off of this website and then we're just going to talk about it because okay. I, I just want to hear. I just want to hear your guys' opinion about this before we kind of dive into the the meat because 
in reality, the meat is like a Slim Jim. <laughs> there ain't there ain't much evidence here. Uh, but good thing I'm a it's, vegetarian. It's in, it, 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 no, you're not. It's interesting, and it, it's not that it's just interesting. It, I feel like something like this could easily apply to other things, and it's just not being talked about. But anyway, we've we've bored and confused everyone enough. <laughs> Let's just dive in. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> Phantom. Oh my gosh, my voice. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Phantom time hypothesis claims that the years 614 to 911 never happened. And that we're actually living in the 1700s right now. Okay. That's... How does that make you feel? Interesting. Um, good, I guess. I mean, I don't feel either way about it. I'm still... <laughs> it makes you feel good. Sitting in uh, this house doing the same thing. It's, uh, it's odd. Why do they believe this? Uh, why is this a hypothesis at all? Well, according to the historical record, not much happened in Europe during the Middle Ages. Uh, there is they scant. Said, oh, go ahead. They said it was a very boring time. Therefore, yeah. it just didn't happen, basically, is what I read. In, in a nutshell, I was going to get into it a little bit more and say that there is scant archaeological evidence that can be pinpointed to that 300-year period. Hmm. Like... They, they just can't really identify that things are necessarily from uh, those years. And most historians refer to this time as the Dark Ages and blame it on cultural decline throughout Europe following the fall of the Roman Empire. And I swear I just heard one of your cats fart. No. It was, I heard it too. Wasn't my was cat. it one of you? <laughs> my cat's, not, it's an, he's outside somewhere yelling at me, but I, 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 he's not farting. And I'm not <laughs> farting. And Busy doesn't fart. I mean, look at this god of an animal. This is just a beautiful All animal. animals are gaseous. But he's no, not. That's what I heard. He's not anyway. gaseous at all. He could actually do the rest of the podcast for me, and I could just hide behind him. It's adorable. Well, um, anyway, I thought you'd say more than just it made you feel good. I, I was not mm. expecting that to be an answer. I don't know how um, I agree about this. <laughs> Let me just say something. So, you know what I went to school for. So, I'm, I've said it a million times. I'm so damn proud of it. Uh, I went to school for anthropology. Tuna and, hunting. Uh, tuna hunting. And a lot of the classes I took were in archaeology. And I do happen to know that in the Dark Ages, they call it the Dark Ages because after the fall of the Roman Empire, the people that were left over, about uh, 50 to 100 years later, were just finding pieces of the Roman Empire and just kind of using them. The old aqueducts, things like that. They were just getting by. That's where a lot of uh, mythology of, of haunted woods and fairies came from and all that stuff. Um, which we're, I'm going to talk about fairies in another episode. This, that's a, a fun one I'm going to do. But um, This episode is apparently just the one where we're, we talk and plan future episodes and you're a sucker for listening and to stuff it. And America or whoever's watching. Brought to you by <laughs> vacuums. Sucky. Um, but it is interesting because, uh, like, I don't know. That's it's a spooky hypothesis because they they feel nothing happened significant as far as the archaeological record goes. Which I'm sure that there was primary refuge these people left refuge these people left behind and things. Um, well, I I think it's not necessarily that they're saying nothing interesting happened. I I think it's more along the lines of they're claiming since. Uh, Think of it like you, you, you've you learned that not that much interesting has happened. So why not just say that those 300 years, it, it's not that they really didn't exist, but we like invented them to like make things look like it was further along. There's this whole conspiracy about the Pope that I'll get into in, in a little bit. But think of it, think of it more as it was like the, the fall of the Roman Empire. And then it, it was like a year later was 1901 or uh, 901 instead of 670 or whatever the number was. Okay, um, okay. It, it was it was just, it, it's not like it didn't happen. It just happened like in a significantly shorter amount of time than the 300 years we've learned of as the Dark Ages. So let me get into the, 
the Slim Jim here. <laughs> German historian Herbert Illig, I, I'm sure it's probably like, first published his phantom time hypothesis in 1991. So this is a relatively new uh, thinking, I guess. Um, he'd been working on the idea since learning about a 1986 archaeological conference that discussed the Roman Catholic Church's practice of foregoing documents in the Middle Ages and predating them by hundreds of years. So hmm. basically, since he was saying that the Catholics were, in essence, lying about dates on documents, what's to say that the whole era wasn't a, a lie? Just all stretched out and fabricated. Yeah, I read that like a pope and an emperor and another emperor and a Constantine and whatever, all the rulers during that time, one of them was taking over and wanted it to be the year like 1000 AD yes. instead of the year that it was because it seemed like so much cooler to take over in year 1000. So they just changed the date then. Yeah, so the secret plot by the Catholic Pope thought that it would be cool to reign during the year 1000. So they basically fudged the system and said, this is actually the year it's going to be. Hey, I'm in charge. Uh, what are you going to do about it? Nothing. And then just, you know, here we are. My question, though, is that year supposedly was 1996 AD, so that's four years. Okay, they fudged the calendar by four years. Where does the extra 293 <clears throat> years come? Well, <clears throat> apparently, while searching for proof, Illig, Illig focused on Pope Gregory the X111, which I think is 13th. Yes. <laughs> Uh, introduction of the Gregorian calendar in uh, 1582, which is still the main calendar used to conduct business throughout the world, the earth, the globe, the planet. The Gregorian calendar. The problem... Can you insert some Julian... Gregorian chant into this as you're saying it? Like, that'd be really cool. Can you give me give me like a demonstration? Like... Uh, it's kind of like uh, Ace of Base sadness song. It's... <laughs> You'll, you'll hear. I'll, I'll send you a clip. We gotta put some gr oh, okay. Gregorian chant over this. It's like it terrifying. <laughs> we gotta do something Gregorian. big and scary. Okay, go ahead. Uh, this. Uh, oh, ooh, okay. I'll get to the scary part. Jed. The problem with the Julian calendar, which has been in use since Roman times, is that it overestimated the length of an average year by about 11 minutes. And that doesn't sound like much. But it would it would have added up to about 13 days between the Roman times and the year 1582. So instead of shortening the calendar by 13 days, Pope Gregory X111 only adjusted it by 10 days. Ilch cited this as proof that the church was aware that it had fabricated a 297 year stretch of time between the years uh, 614 and 911 during which the Julian calendar would have been knocked off course by an additional three days. So are you, are you suggesting so, that the Indians did not take the Rock of Gibraltar back, or Gibraltar back from, the, from, uh, from England in 711? Because if that's the case- No, no, no. Is it a no, different year? No, I'm not, I, okay. I, yes, I'm not, I'm not suggesting that nothing, that something didn't necessarily happen. What the theory suggests is that the whole world is basically lying about what year it is. Or maybe that they're not even lying anymore. They just don't know they're lying. I mean, think about this. Let's just say this theory is true for a minute. So we're, we're talking about something that happened. Uh, I can't even do the math, but... It would be like 1725 today. Yeah, but but what I'm saying is, is the, the, the 300 years that are missing were over a thousand years ago. So how, how are we to know whether or not that actually happened or not? Like if, if some bimbo just said, hey, guys, bimbo. it's no, it's yes, bimbo. <laughs> what if bimbo was like, hey, guys, it's no longer 614. It's 911. I'm changing the calendar. And everyone was just kind of like, uh, okay. And just went along with it. Maybe for a while, people knew that it was a lie or that something was going on or that time changed. But because that was so long ago, 
how are we supposed to know that that's that's the case now? I mean, it's not like up in the sky you can look up there and be like, clouds? What I mean, year is like, it? And the clouds I, just say 2022. We've just sensed the, the calendar and sensed this theory, hypothesis, whatever, says that it started at 9-11. On that scale, it's now 2022. Well, we knew that they fudged the numbers. And I mean, if you look at like how we got August and... In July, I mean, we added months onto the calendar year anyway. Well, we didn't, but uh, Julius Caesar did. So, I mean, there's there's that. Um, so, I, I is I don't... that the guy? Is that the guy that yells like Bruno? He's the guy that made the dressing. Yeah, yeah. We don't talk about. I think it's very <laughs> possible that no one that? <clears throat> knew what was going on during this entire time because if you think about it. Like all the astronomers, Aristotle, Aristarchus. Those are star Galileo. guys. Star I know, guys. but they have like. I'm just for the for the people that are listening that might not know. Oh, they also have like <laughs> theories about relative time and stuff, and they they weren't even around until like <clears throat> I don't know. I could be wrong. 14, 15, 1600. So the concept of time, I feel like. Was oh, yeah. Well, most specific. of them were, yeah, they were a lot later. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So the actual concept of time, I feel like no one probably knew. Hmm. Well, there, I mean, there's still no real concept of time. I mean, you can, uh, there's probably going to be people that think they're scientists. They can go on here and they can totally disagree with me, but I'm going to make a bold statement. Time is 100% man made. Time is our way of referencing day and night, years. It, I mean, yes, things things move forward and, and events occur. And, and I'm not saying that time doesn't exist, but how we reference time is completely just man-made. Are you trying to say that time Earth. is relative? <clears throat> one might say that, yes. I was just one kind of, you know. One did say that at one time. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but I, I was, that's, that's, that's three words. I was just elaborating it more like if you picked up the time is relative for dummies book that probably doesn't exist, but should. <laughs> You probably pick up physics, for but, <clears throat> but so I don't, I don't want to dive too much more into the theory because a lot of it kind of breaks apart um, because there are records in other countries during those times, specifically like China, they were very good at keeping records. So it's kind of like, okay, well, if the Chinese, you know, dynasty going on at that time has all these records about what was going on. How is Europe just skipping 300 years? So, I mean, it, it gets kind of iffy. And while it's interesting to think about, I, I think, and the reason that I wanted to bring this up and talk about it and the scary aspect, because this is talk about scary, not talk about history. History crap is for just a minute, think about how easy it could potentially be to actually pull something like this off. Like, how do we know so many other things aren't just lies? I mean, there's there's so many conspiracy theories going on right now. And I, I don't want to get into like a, a full blown discussion about like 9-11 or or, you know, this and that and climate change and blah, blah, and all this stuff that I that I could dive into. But I think just one guy picked up this idea and ran with it. And it's interesting. And it's something that could be repeated. You know what I find interesting? It's totally off subject, but... <clears throat> great. That's awesome. That's great. <laughs> so, have you guys ever FaceTimed with, like, your mom or your grandma, and they've got the FaceTime thing all the way up to their forehead, or it's off-center, and you can only see, like, half of their head and their eyeball? Are you talking about That's me? That's Ashley Moffat. <laughs> <laughs> I can see up her nose and, like, a piece of her glasses, and I see her I ceiling can totally... fan. I can see it too. <laughs> and I'm like, I have to say something now because if we're addressing Except this I theory, can't. I got to address what is going on with people, especially old people, <laughs> and not understanding where their camera is on their phone. It's like I'm up here. I, I got to get in front of the camera so they can see what it looks like. Hold on. I'll be right back. She all like this. Hey, guys. What's I mean, happening? I, I, I still can't like see. That, right in the camera, and My it's just hilarious to me. 
I, uh... My FaceTime is still not working. You'll see it later. It's just my just my forehead right in the camera, and it's just this, and then my eye, and then my Well, nose. I'll see that, but I, I won't see her. I'll I mean, never I know. I feel special that I don't think I have to get ready. <laughs> I'm just seeing your ceiling you. fan and stuff. <laughs> just staring straight up the sky. <laughs> But it's an interesting theory, though, Clay. It is interesting. And, you know, I would... Uh, it's actually a solid theory. I mean, I'm making fun of it a little bit. But um, there's been all sorts of uh, manipulation of the calendar since uh, since man started yeah. counting our own days. <clears throat> it was what I would say. Um, you know, it's I just... have a question. Well, I... Yeah, go ahead. And what I'm about to say does not reflect on my ability to teach fifth graders. <laughs> I teach uh, colonies through civil war. That's it. But did anyone even know other places existed at this point? Like you said, like the Romans might not have been good at tracking time, but the dynasties in China were like really good. Did they even like know each other existed at this point? <clears throat> like other, like the, I don't Romans know. Romans absolutely did. The yeah, Roman expansion. Yeah. I mean, they they went all over. Europe and in Asia, they were everywhere. They went all the way yeah, down to like India. Yeah, there's just like a hole. There's just like a hole in my brain up until the colonies formed. Yeah, yeah. Me too. But no, that, that, that's that definitely... hole is the interesting stuff, though. So, yeah. I um. That's the interesting yeah, he he went all the way down. There's he uh you know he went down to see Cleopatra. She committed she committed suicide. Uh, you know, uh, based on what was happening. You know, she's trying to meet with him. Um, there's a mm -hmm. bunch of interesting stuff. I really find Egyptology tremendously interesting that's like a huge portion of uh my study and by the way probably why the time uh your time theory is incorrect is because the egyptians kept methodical records of time uh, well yeah I, I was referenced i was referencing the chinese but the egyptians they're the exact same that they they kept time they kept record of everything so yes, there's holes in this theory, but I think the more important thing, and I'm going to sum it up with this closing statement on this article, is, yeah, the, uh, what is it, phantom time hypothesis is, meh, but why the heck would the church have fabricated an entire three centuries of time? What was their motivation? I'm not just trying to bash on, like, the Catholic church, because they've had a lot of... They got enough. <laughs> they've got well yeah but they but they've got they've got a lot of things potentially hidden with the the Vatican and just all the the stuff that they've got hidden away it it does just kind of make you wonder not just them but anyone else is this theory exists because people don't trust people people think that there's always more than there is to the story and to be honest with you 9 times out of 10 there is more to the story so, yes, this particular hypothesis is fun to talk about. It's not true. But the scary thing is, look how easy it potentially is to manipulate people. This hypothesis is a joke. What if someone took something really interesting, like the aliens building the pyramids? You know, just there's all sorts of things throughout history or even going on right now in the world. Clay the watched a lot of ancient not. aliens, so you gotta forgive him about the aliens building the pyramids thing. He didn't mean it. You like, were just he talking about Egypt. Yeah. I don't believe I don't believe that people moved one hundred ton bricks miles. You don't believe the people did it? No. Yeah, they did. Absolute, they absolutely did. No. They, they they show they they they, they, no. they the channels no. in the Nile no. and they they raised no. our laborers. Yep, they're actually skilled craftsmen, and they got paid in beer. They, look it they up. They didn't do it. They got paid I'm sorry. in beer. No. Their beer I back they then. Got whipped, but... A lot of nutrients. No slave labor. No, it's all they. They uh, it was all skilled artisans. What? Yeah, they well, didn't I do know it. It's though. Not they didn't do it. Colonial history, but it's. Uh, I got a bookshelf full of bullshit over here that tells me that's what happened. So. Um, I actually like the theory though, and the, I think the reason why the hypothesis is interesting to me, and I'll leave my part at this, is because there, we do have evidence of uh, of our calendars being manipulated throughout history. So yeah. what's to say they didn't want to cut something out that they just didn't like very much? Um, you look at the Bible, and uh, the Book of Judas isn't there. There's a whole 
Judas had a whole book in the Bible. It's not there. So mm -hmm. throughout history, there's just parts of the historical record that are missing by people in power who decided that for whatever reason they didn't want them there. So yeah, maybe maybe. Well, there's, there's a whole a other there's a whole that, other you know? book cut out too. What is it? The the Book of Enoch. There's a lot of books cut out. Yeah. 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 Why why is it cut out to hide something or manipulate? Yes, people. absolutely right. Absolutely right. So. So yeah, thanks for bringing this to our attention. It's very interesting. There's a there's a whole uh, underlying layer of things that are uh, that are quite interesting and, and possibly true. You know, little tidbits and shreds there that could probably work out. Little little tidbits and shreds. Shreds and tidbits. But uh, well, that's it, I guess. Don't, right? I guess don't I thank me. Thank German historian Herbert Ehlers. <laughs> nice. I like uh, brought it to uh, German post-industrial art, so uh, I will thank him for that as well, even though he didn't make any of it. That's all I know about Germany. Besides, they did something between, like, I think 1939 and 1942. I think they all went out for ice cream. Is that nah. all, all that happened then? <laughs> Hagen das Hagen das Well, we want to thank you guys for watching. We hope you in enjoyed this show, and uh, thank you, Stacy, for being a viewer. And uh, creep it real. The only viewer we have is my sister Creep Stacey. It she watches it six times in a row and then she turns it off every week. So yeah, Creep It Real guys. Anyway, um <laughs> Clay, I gotta tell you, that was actually a very good episode. I liked that. That was very interesting. It ran that kind was of a muck. Horrible. <laughs> um I'm sure you have some editing. Well I'm I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna trim it. I'm gonna oh, turn off the recording.